Okay. Um, I genuinely have... I did not stream last week, so I do not know where we are at in the story. Um, I don't remember... Remember... Uh, where we left off. So, uh, let's, let's find out together. We do also have Dixper enabled tonight. We do have a crate drop. If you are one of the first five people to... Oh, God bless us. First five people to click on that link. You'll get a free crate. Crates have three skills in them. Skills can be used individually or in conjunction with each other. Shit. Shit. I'm trying to take this so slowly, obviously. Actually, I'm not taking it quite as slowly as I have usually. No! It seems so ridiculous to be <gasps> <gasps> Ugh, wobbly during that. Okay. Um. Right, that was all wasted. Uh. I uh, I have to remember what game I'm playing. Holy crap! I'm tr I'm hitting right trigger to run. Um. I don't remember what game that was, but it was a game. Okay, here we go. It was just recently I was playing a game where I had to hit right trigger to run. I'm gonna die so soon. Alright, okay, so this is... I can't get out of here. This is some horse shit. Okay. Look out! What, what was I just playing? Oh, it was Wednesday night. It was Post Mouse. with the fight is is just such a bad idea. Not you. All right, give me your give me your everything, please. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh god, these turds. What am I aiming at? I just want to get my bearings, that's all. Okay. Alright, so these little assholes... ...are gone. Throw it! Stand up here, threateningly. Okay, I don't... All right, so we're covering our face, so this is doing nothing, I guess? Wow, I'm not digging the fact that he refuses to... Oh my god. I 
want to take my eyes away. This is weird with him just... Fuck. That was that, that instance where I didn't... Okay. All right, no, no, no. Get this, okay? Okay. So hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to say hello to everybody, um, and there are things that need to happen here, but let me gather my stuff first. Okay. Oh my goodness. So hello, people. What has happened? Hickey is here. Hello, Hickey. And do I see a Hiseo? I do. Welcome in, Hiseo. It was nice to hang out with you even just for a few minutes last night. And Hiseo, I did not uh, have the opportunity to speak to Angel yet, but I will tell him now. Um, Angel Hiseo is um, not going to be streaming. He's going to be taking a bit of a hiatus because he is... Um, having uh, foot surgery coming up soon. So you will not be seeing him as much in case you would be wondering where he was. So there we go. Um, fifth function. Oh, do I have a referral code for Dick? Yes, fifth function. I do have a Dixburg referral code. Thank you so much for asking. I will get that to you in just a moment. I appreciate that so much. If anybody does want to create a Dixburg account, um, please uh, let me know. I will get you my referral code and we both get bonuses um, for that sort of thing. Yeah, it had been so long since you last saw me stream Fifth Function is uh, just because uh, last week was a little rough and I missed a few a few days. Just kicked your PC and that sound played and had you worried. Fantastic Fifth Function. Maxine, well, well, well done. Um, so let's get a shout out for Haseo and I'm going to sing for Haseo because even though Haseo is not going to be, um, uh, streaming too much, uh, upcoming, you are going to want to follow him so that whenever he does go live, uh, you'll check him out because he is a lot of fun and has one of the best laughs in the world. Yes. And we definitely want Haseo to keep us up to date. You've been up at the wrong times as well, Fifth Function, of course, because we are in disparate time zones. Okay, referral code. I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to copy the link. And I'm going to plop it right here. And that is my referral code that I have posted in chat for folks who uh, want to set up a Dixper account. You can use that. Please and thank you. All right. So in the meantime, we're going to sing for Haseo because that's what we like to do. Even though this song is really weird, I like to sing something nice and son of a bitch. That went out the window already. Oh, death number one has happened. I guess we finally started the stream. I can't believe that my depth perception is so fucked up. And now we're back on track. We're gonna get to the mushroom, son of a bitch! <laughs> and maybe not. Speaking of singing, Sunday is when we do our full musicality stream. I'm gonna be singing for the full stream. And hopefully we'll be singing better. <laughs> that I'm singing right now. Why can't I come up with the melody? 
no 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 This is ridiculous I can't see where I'm going Oh here we go Finally fucking did it! Uh, uh. Oh, we're gonna go into a story beat. So we're gonna hang out here and that's the end. <laughs> yes, so Angel, uh, Haseo will be uh, occasionally posting to Twitter, giving us updates via that uh, while he is in recovery. It's a big fucking surgery. Maxine, I'm sorry you might not be able to watch on Sunday. I've decided I'm going to, um... I'm going to turn off... I other... had a role in my family's demise. Hold, please. I did not start the fire. It was always burning Centaurs since the world was turning. Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor did. I saw him, a preening undergraduate. Now I remember him. That key belongs to Lizzie's room. Are we gonna... So I was thinking I would keep bonus layers on during the stream on Sunday so folks could request melodies. Because it's just gonna be a free-for-all. Um, I was thinking of putting, like, some song, like, writing down some songs so that my brain won't go blank when I start the stream on Sunday. Um, but I think assistance from the crowd will be helpful, too. My father would wish that you hold your tears, girls. He lived a long life. And as the poet says, like a clock worn out with eating time, the wheels of weary life at last stood still. Oof. Well, that's neat. I wish I could get that image without the LT at the top. Because that obviously breaks it. That's not a good... Um, picture. <gasps> Lady B! Lady B! First of all, welcome in. I hope your Friday is going well and you just started playing this game today. Were you playing it on stream? Have you played it before? And what do you think? Let's get you a shout out. How did your charity stream go, by the way? That... That has happened. Yes, the, um... I should know this, and I'm sad that I don't. Um, but this, the... The... Up until dawn. Angel, Angel knows the exact name... Name of the event. I'm sorry, I'm being a bad advocate. Okay. Now all I want to do is use this grenade launcher. All, all that needed to happen was for Fox to rightly call it a grenade launcher, and it changed my relationship to... Oh, fuck you. ...to this cannon. There we go, a little bastard. Okay, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. My, my brain is really all over the place today. 
Okay, you didn't play it on stream. And the charity stream is next week. Okay, great. We have not missed it. Okay, same day as Haseo surgery, May 5th. Wow. Okay, so maybe like the the good vibes of the charity stream, we can we can help send some of those Haseo's way to to like help him have a a, a successful surgery. It's one day after Star Wars Day, so it's May 5th, May 5th. And Lady B, if you want to share again for folks who are unaware of what the event is, um, you are welcome to do that because the more people who know about it, the better. Yay to this. You're enjoying this game? Yeah. Um, had you ever played it before? I'm no toy. He wanted me to do things I didn't want to do. I had not. Oh my god, Haseo, Haseo! Haseo was playing, um, uh, Burnout Remastered, Starboard, what, what the heck, uh, Star something. <laughs> Super Burnout? God damn it. He was playing this game, Burnout Paradise Remastered. And it looked like it was right up my alley and I found out that it is available on Game Pass. Since I have a Game Pass subscription for the next few months, um, I have installed it and am going to find a day to play it because it looks absolutely incredible. You can, okay, well, this is a picture. Shoot. You can um, acquire vehicles by smashing into them. If anyone is able to, to help me grab a screenshot, I would be very grateful. I cannot grab screenshots um, while playing this game, unfortunately. Okay, Angel has provided the link to uh, Lady Beach Charity page. It's darkness into light, darkness into light. And I highly recommend checking it out. It is quite a wonderful event. Am I not the most wretched and selfish of fortune's fools? Oblivious, I live in a training ground for prostitutes. My mentor is an abuser and purveyor. I've been complicit with my sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I sought relief from my pain and you turned me away from the truth. You are almost there. Almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead. And you should be too. You misbegotten abomination. Murderer. You blood-sucking parasite! The damage you've done to children! The abuse! I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family! My mind! The infernal train! The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats, Wheels of stars, so hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engineer. I'll stop that train, if it's the last thing I do. As you wish, it will be. So, Lady B, this is the first time playing Alice, um, and you love your the Burnout Paradise games. And where your body is, your have similar mind interests. Will Perhaps it's already there. Cause Lady B, you like puzzle games too, right? Um, I have also posted the link to uh, Lady B's uh, website. She is an incredible artist. Um, and you are going to want to check out that site. Um, she does incredible things with Drop Pour. 
with the drop pour technique. Um, I have, I have uh, done some drop pour stuff, but what I love about Lady B stuff is that she starts with the drop pour as a basis and then builds on it. Um, it it's, it's really impressive. She is incredibly talented. Right, you just finished Siberia the world before. That was the game I was thinking about. Saw of depravity. Children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breeding livestock. A declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> you brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. Heseo, have a wonderful night. Um, I hope work, the rest of work goes well. Thank you so much for stopping in and saying hello to us. Take care. And if we don't see you again before your surgery, good luck. So I think we are officially in chapter six at this point. Yep, and I believe this is the last chapter. We spent quite a bit of time in chapter five. That was unexpected. Um, I spent a couple of streams in that one. I'm not, I think there was a lot of platforming, um, and that's why it took me as long as it did. What is happening? Also, again, if anyone is able to grab a screenshot, I would be very appreciative. Um, Fox has been my Alice Madness Returns uh, official photographer, uh, but I don't believe he's here yet. No pressure to anyone to grab it, but if you could, that would be awesome. Yeah, Angel is asking um, how Lady B enjoyed Siberia. He has that in his Steam cart right now. I am curious as well because um, I was in a stream um, while Lady B was playing it, uh, and it looked like the puzzles were challenging. But she had said that she was enjoying it, I believe. Um, okay. Let me, I, I will start here. This is nothing. I'm gonna go all around the edges. We're, I can't go through here. That is an invisible wall. Here, here, here. Uh, invisible wall. And I believe we are now back where we started. So this is a little concerning because I'm wondering if something has glitched. Um, if anyone has any thoughts, I am actively, uh, I will a happily accept um, thoughts or assistance at this point because I feel like there is no route out of here and using the, um, the, this little secret, I can't remember, the shrinky sense, whatever, is not, it will often show something that's hidden and I don't see anything. Borlak, hello, welcome in, Mr. Man with the accent that I adore. What exactly does brummy mean? You call it, you said you had a brummy accent, and I feel like I've heard that word before, but I don't quite know what it means. So Lady B really liked Siberia. Uh, she'd been playing those point-and-click mystery games on her phone, so it was nice to play and sit and watch the story unfold. Nice! Mr. Man, the most boring and grown-up of the Mr. Man plots ever with you, boring. 
Uh, so yeah. Um, and if there is anyone in chat who has played the game um, and knows anything about it, while I, I don't want a ton of information, I would love to know if we are busted right now or if I am missing something. Um, yeah, uh... I don't know, what would restart do? Do you think it would... The train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats and wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engineer. What is my favorite book or novel? It has been forever since I have really sat down and dug into a book. Well, oh, actually, I really love this screenshot as well. If anyone's able to grab it. Um, I fell in love with um, Thomas Covenant, the story of Thomas Covenant, the unbeliever. Um... I also loved David Eddings' stuff, uh, Anne McCaffrey, The Dragon Riders of Pern. There was also the funniest book that I'd read at the time, The Story of Biff. I can't remember the, the full title. Um, but I remember reading that and laughing like, on every page turn, I, I like the Bulgarian and the Malorian were two of your favorite sets. Borlock. It was reading those books that made me first experience the feeling of not wanting to finish a book or a book series because it meant that I was going to lose my friends. Um, I saved, I think it was the last six pages for, I don't remember, it was so long ago, but I saved them. I did not read them for a period of time because I didn't want to say goodbye. All right, I think I have to, I think I have to read, like, let's go out to the main menu. We're going to hit yes, and then we're going to go back in. Let's go into continue game. I must stop this infernal train and the evil force that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all search, freighted with fear and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. <laughs> Never time for tea. <laughs> Are your brains on holiday? We are ruined. Now we're all mad here, and that's a good excuse for going to hell in a teapot, but not for forgetting what your senses saw. Forgetting is just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I'd like to forget what you did. I've tried, but I can't. So it looked like it you was just stuck. You used me, and abused me, but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened, and you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Come to receive your punishment, then. Wow, this is I a lot of I know I'm guilty cuts. of something, but punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. And you're right, abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harmed pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier, but you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. What? Okay. All right. So, yeah, it looked like it just... Um... It didn't register when I walked into that, uh, that nook the first time, but restarting it fixed it. So yay for that. 
You corrupted my memories, but you failed to make me forget. I could have made you into a tasty bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But Jesus Christ. Forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad, like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease, <gasps> pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted in the end. What the fuck? My Lizzie, what is this train's destination? Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, oh my god. No. Oh, poor Lizzie. And there are no centers in Oxford. Make your survival mean something. Oh, we are all doomed! Um... So I think I need to not look around. I think this, at this point, the game just wants me to push forward. Because we are just moving through the train and our memories and our confrontation. Although not looking around is really troubling for me. Okay. <laughs> click. Click, 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 click. Did he say hide in your shell? Oh, shit. must be paid for. What the fuck? Alright, so I don't know what your deal is yet. Alright, you probably have another hit coming in. No? Okay. This is, this is very interesting. Okay. Oh, Jesus, that's gonna be bad. All right. Looks run away from a bowl. Uh, so I get no hearts. Unfortunate. All right. Uh, what's going on, baby face? I don't know what what your deal is. Are you gonna? Welcome in, raiders. If you might. Oh, please, just for a moment, I'll see if I can get myself to a... to a I-can-talk-to-you-guys place. Ah, this isn't it. Uh, because we, we look like we're doing a whole final battle situation thing here. We just started it, so I imagine I am not going to get through it in one go. So let me say hello. No! Yam, I just peeped that you were playing Star Wars Jedi Survivor over in my Who's Live Now uh, thing. So you must have felt me thinking about you. Welcome in, Yam Fam. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am Mia. I am a themed variety streamer. Means I'll play a different genre depending on the day. And Fridays are our frightening days. And we are at the tail end of Alice Madness Returns. But welcome in, folks. And hello, Patekin. Wait, it's broken as fuck? Talk, share. I want to hear everything, Nether Yam. Yeah, it is looking a bit crazy, isn't it, Fifth Function? Erin, welcome into you as well. A fantastic time to join. How are you doing? 
you tweeted something earlier that I saw in my timeline today. I can't fucking remember what it was. I remember appreciating it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're tweeting a lot. Well, whatever it was, I dug it. Uh, Nethiam is saying it's a lot of fun, but the frame rates are garbage. And you ended early because you had three hard crashes in a row. Nethiam, I am so sorry. That had to have been very frustrating. So did it just... <laughs> this is fun. Oh! Uh, I was trying to umbrella up. I'm trying to umbrella. Thank you. Oh, what is this that she's doing? No clue. Get me out of here. I have no idea what this is. Like, she looks... I don't know why the, the hand is feminine in my brain right now, but it looks compromised, doesn't it? So... So, Netherium, did it just get released today? So I know you were playing some, uh... Squadron, right? Was it last week to get people stoked about? The cost of forgetting is high. Oh, all right. The cost of remembering is higher, you asshole. Ooh. Shit. Nope, I'm dead. Oh, she's gonna slap me? Tickle me, or... Continue in just a second here. I do get your German tweets in my timeline. Don't be sorry. Of course not. So yeah, so the game just came out today is the answer to what I was going to ask. Yes, thank you. And what you were playing before was not Squadron. It was Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Patekin said the reason I said I was going to wait to play the new Star Wars, I knew how Fallen Order was at launch. Yeah, but that game wound up being amazing. It's the other mother... Borlack, have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for coming in and saying hello. I hope you sleep well. Have fun ruining Alice's life. Hey, shut up, Borlack. Angel, thank you for doing the shouts out. All right, let's do this. Take down Drifting Ruin quickly using the umbrella. All right, so we're at least in the second phase of this fight. Like, what? So that's what happens when, when the hand does that. All right, let's see if that helps. I think that helped. My God, Alice, do run slower. Shit. All right, can I... Is this... That doesn't look like it's doing a damn thing, but it feels like it should... Get out! Get out! Man, I wish I could run. Oh, sure. Mia, sure. Oh, this is fun. Nowadays, every game is basically released as early access. Eventually, it will run better. Yep, on PC at least. Uh, 
Yeah, even if it doesn't say early access. Yeah, that is, I mean, luckily I don't have to experience that much because I don't play games at launch. Um, but it does seem to be the case that when they first come out, they are not what they will be. Console versions are usually much better, not all of them, but most. Uh, I've seen someone play on PS5 and it was running great for him. Wasn't that similar to the way um, the issues people were having with Cyberpunk? And Azarek, welcome in my ride or die. How are you doing? How's your weekend starting? All right, let's do this. Cyberpunk was just bad overall. No, I know, but Angel was talking about this yesterday, and there were, I remember people who did not have a problem with that when it first came out. Nope. Ah, damn, I was hoping I could miss that one. Where am I going? What the fuck? Seriously, where am I going? God damn it. All right, let's just do this. You can laugh, but I would love it if you... All right, so this... All right, let me put that. I wonder if I just need to... again with this. I'm trying to... T you guys got hearts for me? Of course not. Fuck you! like this. God damn it. Cyberpunk was uh, mainly about bad performance. It had some bugs, but that wasn't the main issue. Maxine had a high-end PC, but it was 10 years old. Cyberpunk is more fundamental as well. The game that was advised or advertised and the features they said it would have never happened, right? Aaron saying, Patikin, what is this high end that you're talking about? I only have the high ground. <laughs> it moves so fast as well. Nether Yam, your 2080 Ti is seeming more and more out of date every day, right? Um, Patikin is glad he bought his CPU and GPU not that long ago, even though there's a new generation out now. Not old yet, but still good enough for a few years, right? But that's it. Fifth function, you think it's because the camera is further away, making me feel like I move slower. I, I suppose. Um, and I'm sorry for this delay while I'm reading. I have a pigtail that I'm putting back up. It was bugging me. You're still on a 1070 Ti. Hey, man, if it works, it works. And while Aaron is gently hugging his 980 Ti. Okay. C 
CPUs are improving more slowly now, or newer games don't need a lot more CPU power. Ten years ago, if you had a ten-year-old CPU, it was garbage, but today my ten-year-old CPU is still fine for most things. Okay. That's interesting. All right, let's just fucking do this. Uh, once again... Let's just... irritating me because I just I really don't know what to do with it I'm, I'm not seeing it take damage so I don't know when it does though like well and it's also when she's got a, a cannon or a pepper grinder in her hands fuck she moves her slowly anyway i don't know that i'm gonna be able to it this definitely feels like a fight that i'm not gonna be able to get through one heart. Alright, so that at least took him out. something very big and heavy through through molasses Second save. I don't know where it is right now. Okay. Whew. Taki, hello, welcome in. Oh God. Fifth function, have a great night. Thank you so much for stopping in. It was great to see you again. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, so this is our, our final round here. I don't think this is going to make a difference. What, is, what, 
was that? What the fuck? What are you shooting at? What? Okay, what am I supposed to do when you're down here? Please stop turning around. I mean, I, I, it's like I have no control over these sticks. It's really weird. <laughs> understand when it chooses to all right so we're getting him I guess that's what it's focusing on now shit <sighs> you did something silly with your hair today Taki what'd you do best seen and laughed at on your own time i'm assuming you shared it um you shared it in discord in which case i'm happy to look oh in humor okay good all right let's try this again just try to avoid <laughs> and fail <laughs> all right so he says something and then he drops his fucking tongue tongue jesus christ for the lurk. Have a wonderful night. I'm glad you were able to hang out with us tonight. Sleep well. Oh, yeah. 
seat. All right. I'm. Not, I really. I don't know what's different tonight with it feeling so sluggish. Just in this fight, it's crazy. <laughs> through it. It was so awful. I felt so bad. You know, like, I'm used to the struggle on my part. Like, even... Alright, so that did something. Oh, Patika, and I saw that Steam added a notes thing in the, um an ability to uh, make notes in the overlay, which is amazing. So you can take notes when when uh, you're doing puzzle games. I'll see you charged. In prison, some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed, a hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My God, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You, monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic, silly bitch. Ugh. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement. I really hope that was the big boss fight, but I feel like I got through it too easily for it to be the big boss fight. And welcome in, Caroluna. Hello, bearded one. I hope you're feeling better. Click, click. Ah. Your head isn't exploding anymore, but it's still pain city. Oh, hogs, Caroluna. Yeah, who, who was talking last night? Was it Angel Stream talking about how people were not feeling well? And like this past week for a lot of us, it seems like has been difficult, which I always find very, very interesting. Like when, when there's this kind of, okay, so all I can do is walk. I can't do anything but walk. Well, this is agonizing. When there's this, like, global, I don't feel good. All right, I can't, I have no weapons either, so just walk very slowly. Make sure we have exaggerated hip movements. Pound six, okay. Ah, uh, Alice, we can't go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find the way, and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions to die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it agonizing. <laughs> but recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory for now. Nether Yam Singh, but how else are we supposed to know she's a girl? Um. Hit me with the Jeremy's, folks. 
They mentioned on the news there the other day, Carolina, that there's a lot of sickness out there. Uh, both flu and COVID is apparently on the rise. Did take a COVID test, but thankfully that was negative. Indeed, indeed. Um, so you guys, here we go. All right, well, more Jeremy sh should be showing up on the screen. I really need to figure out that trigger fire situation. I'm so sorry. But uh, episode 10 of Alice Madness Returns, uh, apparently chapter six was very short. Uh, but here we are. We will definitely be playing another game tonight. I'll take a little break and we'll start something else up. But, um, yeah, so. Why do I feel like this was the first game that I played that was truly an action platformer? I mean, there was Ori, but that... That had a whole different thing going on. Like that was, that was more of a Metroidvania thing, I believe. Ship, hello. Ori is a puzzle platformer, right. Dougler, hello to you, how are you? Um, so yeah, so I actually very much enjoyed this. Um, there was one episode where uh, folks were talking about how, um, this game has people who love it and people who actually really dislike it. And I wish, um, I, I wish I was able to talk to the folks who didn't like it just to understand what it was that they were struggling with. Um, some of the fights obviously felt overwhelming, uh, but that is just, that's just me being newer to gaming and not having played, you know, for 30 years at this point. Um, and I don't, I, I feel like the platforming sections were difficult at times, but I think it was more that they were challenging rather than like impossible. Uh, there were moments where it was difficult for me to know where I was in the space as evidenced by the whole first like 20 minutes of this stream where I kept jumping past um, a trampoline mushroom rather than onto it. But again, I don't know that that's about the game as much as it was about me. So what I'm saying is I feel like the points where I struggled while playing this were more about um, my lack of a lot of experience in this genre there were where was this developed because there are a lot of i'm seeing a lot of asian names and that is really interesting to me um so not having played the first game uh I think I was actually missing out on some plot that would have made the story beats more significant to me. I do have the thing where if I'm playing a game that is both an action game, that is an action game that has a story to it, I will easily lose the story because I'm focusing so much on the mechanics of the game. So I know that is specifically a me thing. But I do think that had I the experience of what happened in the first game, I would have um, had more understanding of what was happening in this one. So I can't, I don't feel like I can really talk too much about the story other than um, it was pretty bold in parts. They did not shy away from some uncomfortable topics. And I... I don't always know how I feel about that because calling Alice a bitch is uh, really rough on the ears for me. And at the same time, I appreciate how dark the story went. So there's like this, there's this weird, not weird, but there's a fine line between like exploitativeness and and like being bold when it comes to going dark in a story. Especially because Alice is a girl. She's not a woman, she's a girl. Like she's not six, but she's also not like a full, full blown grown up. Um, but 
like outside of the story i think um aesthetically the game was very creative i very much liked all of the different sections um and how they had a completely different feel from one another i think i love the asian themed section the most um just visually that was very happy making for my eyes um and i liked that her dress would change you know uh according to according to the theme so i liked it visually i really did uh like the the paper like the 2d paper cutout um sections in the asian themed one where it was just me moving across the screen from left to right um with alice being like a, a 2d paper doll i don't have better language for it but i i thought as much as i struggled in in those areas at times um visually i very much enjoyed it so i think like I, I think it showed its age in some areas where the 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 animation was a little bit clunky or it was glitchy here and there. And there was the fact that every single time I played this game, I had to restart it at the beginning, no matter if I started it via Xbox or EA. It just wouldn't take the first time. Um, I don't know that's about age as much as it is about EA, but regardless, um, I enjoyed it. I, I liked that the um, stay alive areas where you had to uh, kill or be killed in a time setting. I liked that those were actually optional because I did struggle with some of those. And the fact that I could back out of it was nice. Um, some of the the puzzles were more simple than I was expecting them to be. Um so that was a little jarring, but I never felt like I got super, super stuck in a puzzle section. I feel like the areas where I got stuck was in platforming challenges or or in um, action sequences, in fight sequences. Um, I, I would say I think I would like the game more if it were a little a little smaller, like if it wasn't quite as long. I felt like I had gotten my fill of Alice a couple of streams ago and could have moved on but we still kept going um and i don't know why that is but i definitely f felt like if it had been e each section especially section five chapter five that was weirdly long but if each section had been a bit shorter i think that would have been um I wouldn't have gotten to the point where I was thinking, okay, I'm done with this. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to continue to let this play through. Um, Angel is saying, I wonder, I, I don't want to go out to the chat screen to scroll back. I know I have missed some chat, but if I go out, it's going to stop the credits. Um, so, I'll, uh, well, now, now whatever Angel had said um has gone off the screen <laughs> damn it um so i let me let me pull it up on my phone see if i can get what folks are saying uh without having to go out of this window i suppose i could stop since now we're in ea italy but it's italy man i gotta let that play um let me go to my channel let me go to chat let me see if this works it does not okay never mind so i'm gonna just start uh with what i'm seeing um caroluna saying i have played games for around 40 years watching me play a puzzle or platformer would really wreak havoc with any viewer's hair oh hugs caroluna and that's like Again, I'm I, since I'm newer, I always want the calibration. You know, I'm most inclined to think, oh, it just must be me that's struggling because I'm newer. But it's not always the case, so it helps. Um, so we're talking about doing a third game. So I'm going to scroll back and read more about that. Um, Dougler's saying she's a teen. Yes, um, she's old enough that we can sexualize her somewhat but young enough that it's fucking gross 
that that's the way I feel about it. She's probably like 16, so we can give her like swaying hips. We'll just ugh. Oh no, Mia, do not chew on the spicy babies. Why? Wait, what was that about? Um I would say Mia should play Forspoken next, but that isn't really a frightening Friday game. Fabio! did Was there a Fabio? I missed the Fabio. Um, all right, fuck it. We're going to pause this just for a moment. I, want, I do want to go back. Oh, I didn't miss too much. Um, so what did Angel had said was, I wonder if Mia will watch the Alice shorts that American McGee did to try and inspire interest in a third game. He said, American McGee is the guy's name. Like that's actually his name. He said in more recent years that he's done with the franchise. Patekin is saying he was going to make a third game, but EA does not feel the need to make a third one right now since they've got the rights. Um, they tried, but it's a no-go, so he just stopped trying. And that actually just happened recently. So uh, Angel is saying maybe someday they'll do a reboot like with the Dead Space remake. Oh, interesting. Um, there was an entire credit section for the spicy babies. God damn it. Mia, three years is not new. If you were milk, you'd definitely be old. Okay, Doogler. Okay. Okay. Fair. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, while the QA folks are incredibly important, and I very much appreciate their work, I think we are going to, we're going to go back at this point. Um, but what did other folks, like, what did folks in chat think about the game? May I? H has anyone played it? Uh, what are, what are other folks' thoughts? Now, these are all the memories that I gathered, and we don't need to go through those. So, extra content, I th game manual. Table of contents. This is actually a very cool, I never really looked in, into this, but this is a cool way. Wow, this is a very cool way to, um, to provide the information about how to na navigate the game. I actually really, really like this. The progress drawer makes it easy to keep track of your progress via the chapters. Progress drawer? Visit the equip screen to change Alice's dresses! God damn it! Well time block with the umbrella. Um, hysteria gives her more power. Snouts are hitting in the most curious of places. Okay, so hold on. Let's check out some extra content, see if there's anything here. Characters. An almanac of people and creatures. You guys, there, I, there were 74 characters and I only unlocked 19 of them. That doesn't make any sense to me. How is that? How is that possible? Infinitely more powerful and undeniably more disgusting manifestation of the menacing, formerly foul and detestable, but now it's heinous, even monstrous. Seems relentless, it just keeps getting worse. You know what, if I had looked at some of this stuff as I was progressing, I might have had an easier time navigating the enemies. This is I right, look at this. Look at that, bitch babies, come on. Flying, vomiting, killing machine in the guise of four-legged female infant. Certainly the proof of a diseased mind. I think this game actually... had a lot... Um... It was able to give you... Like, it... it it offered assistance quite a bit more than I took advantage of, if that makes sense. Like, it was... The information was available, I simply did not take advantage of it. So these are all the cinematics... that we had gone through. I had at least unlocked all of those, which of course, I would have. 
Carolina, you agree on the long-windedness of the game, even though you had not played any of them. Yeah, it was, again, I felt like every chapter was interesting. It just felt like um, if they presented it, if they were shorter, it, it would have been more, a little bit more enjoyable. So past murder matters, notes extracted from the casebook of Hieronymus Q. Wilson, M.D. So on November 5th, 1863, Alice Liddell was severely burned in the fire that destroyed her family home in Oxford, took the lives of her parents and her older sister, Lizzie, while the girl's seared skin gradually healed during a year of hospitalization. The trauma caused by her family's horrific demise deepened. The orphan's condition swung from comatose to uncontrollably hysterical. Fuck you with that word and assigning it to women. And back in the course of a given hysteria. Okay, so she go comatose, hysterical, and back in the course of a given hour. Learned medical opinion deemed her a danger to herself and an indefinite term of institutional confinement was ordered. So this is the real story? Was this, was this real? At her preliminary examination at Rutledge on November 11th, 18, 1864, Alice presented as deaf, dumb, and blind to stimulation. She seemed in the brutal expression of the practice in training for the coffin. Only her age saved her from immediate assignment to the notorious Bedlam catacombs. Despite insensible pat passivity, preternatural quietness, and evident dementia, a course of treatment was prescribed. I, I can't access what's happening down here. I'm not sure why. During the first six months of 1865, she was subjected to all the best contemporary re remedies, lobotomies, I'm quite sure, without result. Cold plaster sessions and bloodletting were ineffective and unproductive. Applications of a p experimental shock apparatus, useless, yeah. Okay, I see. Likewise, massive doses of laudanum. In a desperate, th these are ways that they uh, attempted to help her and somehow those didn't work. In a desperate toss, restraints including a straitjacket, solitary confinement, sensory deprivation, confiscation of her toy rabbit, and cancellation of afternoon tea were tried and failed completely. She would not respond. She did not resist treatment or in any way react to it. She simply ignored it. She shut down completely and shut out the world. Shortly after the diagnosis of demented was confirmed, she fell into a comatose state. Despite her mental infirmity, she appeared physically fit. Staff remained hopeful, not to say optimistic, that she would regain her balance. Her bodily functions were reasonably attended to, but there were pitifully few signs of recovery. Then, in the autumn of 1873, after eight years of fitful sleep, Alice, quote, spoke by drawing. Her first picture was of an alarming cat but only bouts of angry, incomprehensible screaming and hysterical sobbing followed this dubious opening of communication. She became intermittently, intermittently, not intermittingly, convulsive and had to be sedated frequently. From time to time, various medicinal preparations and chemical potions were forcibly administered to little effect. I swear to God, if I was born a hundred years earlier, I would be in an asylum. And she required more than verbal encouragement to eat. Something that did look like progress occurred in late November of that year. While her inarticulate mutterings and screams continued, she responded, if not appropriately, at least comprehensibly to her surroundings. When grossly insulted by ward orderlies, the superintendent's imbecilic nephews, Alice, without warning, scarred off one of the twins with her furious attack. She handled her spoon with a knife and made the other bleed like a stuck pig. But then she turned the makeshift shift weapon on her own wrist. So these were the, the twins in the story of Alice in Wonderland. Fortunately, staff prevented her from doing terrible physical damage to herself, but she regressed to her previous state. Days of silence, sometimes get pre- mm. Sometimes sketching fantastical scenes and characters, spouting senseless poetry, then incomprehensible raving, catatonic trances, and unintelligible shouts and groans. Suddenly in spring of this year, there was a change. She began to speak. Civil, then vulgar, declarative, then cryptic speech, in and out of her chaotic, violent, deranged, and terrifying dream world. 
but the periods of lucidity grew longer. She became confidential. She shared some of her sadness, her grief over loss of family and herself. But most often she droned on and on, droned on and on, droned on and on, go fuck yourself, about fantastical visions. These delusions had no reality, of course, but conversation makes a connection with the world. This was a significant development. This is cogent, but often, di hold on. Yeah, cogent, but often disconnected and to me meaningless. Talk about Wonderland, tea parties, oh, tea parties, the fungiferous forest, Boojums, Jack Bomb, Snarks, Demon Dice, and the dastardly Red Queen was nonetheless encouraging. Though her moods ran the gamut from despondent gloom to vicious anger to confident calm, this was a positive prospect. But the emergence of a normal Alice, a cured Alice, was not to be. Throughout the summer and into the autumn, she seemed to vacillate between fantasy and reality. By October, my own health failing, I recognized I had done everything I was capable of doing for her. After a decade of treatment, having addressed her psychic condition with a full array of our ages, I'm just going to say therapies in the most obnoxious way I can because ha, therapy, therapy. That's, that was therapy. Mm. She had emerged from her catatonia, but we didn't know why. I once thought the drug regimen had been effective. Now I vigorously doubt it. Reunification with her childhood toy? It turns out that rabbit was a stand-in for the original, which had disappeared years ago. Something I said, fuck you. She did nothing at my command instruction and treaty or request. To the extent she was cured, she, I believe, cured herself. Mm, imagine that. As she appeared more or less stable, though plagued by hallucinations that frustrated more than frightened her, I succumbed to the superintendent's entreaties. As further cure seemed doubtful, further confinement was deemed a waste of everyone's time. Lacking family and friends, but possessed of a small inheritance, she left She left Rutledge in November, depressed, but committed to the struggle for her sanity. Nurse Witless, come on, found her a situation with Dr. Bumby, and Alice was released to his care at the Houndstitch Home and Refuge for Wayward Youth in the East End. I wish them both well. Both well. Dougler saying, so torture doesn't help mental health. Huh. Concept art gallery. Okay, so these were all of the things that... Look at all of the bottles I did not unlock, you guys. And I felt like I very much... Wait, zero out of 40. How are you telling me... What? So they're all unlocked? No, this... Hold on. Wait, I am so confused. Troubling... There's no way I didn't get... One. Okay, maybe there is. That's... That's a bit confusing to me. And can you... Ah! <laughs> Who's here? Who is here? Ronan, welcome in! That was very, very fitting. Um, so Angel had to look it up, but intermittingly was apparently the more common word in the era when Alice takes place. Intermittently didn't start to see more common use until the mid-20th century, it appears. And Angel's continuing, this game about solving mental illness with hookah caterpillars and teapot grenade launchers is firmly committed to historical accuracy. Shut up, Angel! Yeah, Carolyn is saying, who'd have thunk that torture doesn't help? All right, you guys, so... Alice Madness returned. I'm returns. Very glad that I played it and I very much enjoyed it. The end.